What is going on everybody? Princess Maddie here. Welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange True Colors. DLC just came out today. To play Life is Strange Season 1, I have. Did you choose to save Arcadia Bay? I sure fucking didn't. Bay before Bay. Um, this is DLC. DLC just came out. DLC, it's great. I'm very excited about it. Life is Strange Wavelength. Story-based game. Features player choice. Choose wisely. Gonna beat ass. I believe in us. Uh, this is like a prequel, where you play as, uh, Steph. I'm very excited about it. Ooh. This is gonna be rough, because so much of this is about the music, and there's gonna be no music, because the copyrighted music is turned off, because YouTube. So, um, <clears throat> this should be good. It's Steph. He's here. Steph! Uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Hey. Ow, my head. I'm assuming that was supposed to start music. Yeah, <clears throat> totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know, being Gabe, right? <sighs> hey, Gabe. Well, look. Remember Gabe? If you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend Good said you quit your band and to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think... I'll love it. Sweet. Okay. The manager left me a task list for my first day. Are you the Haven High mascot? All right. Well, we're Steph now. Let's go, dude. Augers task list. Great. Here's the list. Sweet. Introduce myself on air. Huh. Let's give this a shot. Turn on the microphone. Introduce yourself. What's up, kind Haven listeners? Steph here. KRCT's new maestro of music, sultan of songs, tyrant of tunes. You get the picture. We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. Playlist. It, it's going to play nothing. It's going to play absolutely nothing. Ooh. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Um, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. No idea. I've never heard of any of these. Um, uh, that one. That one looks cool. That one. Whatever that is. It's not even going to play it because it's probably copyrighted. 
but shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too. Round. Oh, let me do that. Um, read the ad copy. Ads, got it. Um, Black Lantern. And now a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for. Hmm. It's bearded proprietor. Prefer your dinner served by a man from the 1800s? <laughs> then look no further. Jed. And then there's the, the food. Shit. Try the lanterns. Burgers. Top notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I'd love to. How do I do that? There we go. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. This is what you do when you're at work. Fill out your dating app profile. All right. Steph Gingrich, this uh, is your life. Uh, oh, I don't actually type something informative. Um, gay, I, I like gay disaster. Next, that's me. Gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Games. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Fun. Disaster queer. That's me. Absolutely me. 100%. Hell yes. That's a swipe right. Oh. Speaking of. Huh. Oh, do I actually get to swipe right or left? Sure, let's go, dude. Hell yes. Brother. <laughs> this is the game. This just, just, just keep, keep going. Oh, oh, that's, that's gay right there. That's, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're kidding. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, Wait, no. Oh. Oh no. I'm gonna let bubbles do the talking. Oh no. Oh we have we have okay. We have uh messages from Gabe. Okay. This is Gabe. Um Okay. Alright. This is uh, this okay, alright. Gabe Ryan. Okay, 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 I like it like this. I like the, I like having like knowledge of who these characters are. I don't know who this is. Oh, remember Mikey? Remember Mikey? Ah. Uh. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. Why was that line of dialogue recorded so weird? The store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. Did I get a like? Hunters. Let's go, dude. Working up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. I did not. Sorry. Nice. Batting a thousand. Aw, oh, darn. Unfortunate. Hey, I just swiped right, man. Okay, so, uh, get fucked. 
Oh God, which one am I selecting? It's this one. Okay. <laughs> yes. This is great. I love this. <laughs> You're not even a good bot. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Starting okay. over. Okay, spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute. But spending two hours is cause for concern. Yes. But, aw, uh, but I want it, aw. Uh... Man, dating apps are rough. Guess I should probably break the ice. Yeah. Go in flirty. Hi, beautiful. How you do? Oh, God. Why? A oh, lol. XD. Um. Often does this happen? Okay. Okay. No worries, man. It's fine. Uh... It sounds like the fucking sound effect from, um, uh, um, from Animal Crossing. The... Okay. Um, what were my objectives? Oh. I didn't make a noise. Like, I fucking mashed with somebody, but I didn't. Read the note. Complete radio show test. Listen to your portable recorder. I don't even know how to do that. I don't know how to do nothing. That seems fine. Um, the note. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I don't know what that means, Steph. I have I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. I, I just want a song and that I have ever yeah. heard of, ever. Might as well take a look. I want, I want to see a band on any of these music things that I, I actually recognize. Um like the artist or the band or the music or anything like not Kasha's favorite musical I, I have it. no idea what that is I have no idea what so much of this is oh there's the portal I had this melody in my head all night all right I'm guessing that the non the non copyrighted music started Okay. The the non copyrighted music okay. has begun. So what instrument should I play this thing on? The drums? Oh a synth, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. Hell yeah. Mostly I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Posters, okay. One of these might work. Women of power. That sounds promising. Hell yeah. Uh, is that an actual band? I thought it was just... Cool. The general idea of women of power. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. Okay. And the phone appears. There's a call waiting in the DJ booth. 
What is this fucking music? It's terrible. I'm, I'm hoping it's not copyrighted. Hell yeah, brother. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Sort of. Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. Listen, Steph. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Listen, Steph. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right. Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder. No idea. Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls. No idea. Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. No idea. Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> Mikey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Let's, uh, let's read another ad. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Classics. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. Oh, yeah. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Strawberry is the only... Oh. Um, Avalanche. Sunny and Angela Avalanche. Explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. Wait. This is work, huh? Hell yeah. This sounds like a copyrighted music song. Gotta check on the vent, right? All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Hmm. Vented? Is oh. there an animal in there? It's the imposter? The imposter vented? Hey, you in there. Amogus? I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom, so consider yourself warned. Among Gus? Have you guys ever met Gus? Among Gus? Okay, what is our uh, objective? Update new releases. The package from Mikey? Update. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? I'm not going to recognize any of this. Dude, 1790s. Hell yes. Hell yes. Classical. Okay, Wolfgang. Time for your comeback tour. Goddamn right. Classical is the way to go, brother. Um, package from Mikey. Got it. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. Remember before the storm? I remember before the storm. I can't wait to play the remaster of that. I'm very excited. Whenever that comes out. Looks at February. All my old 
GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look Choose for a camp Hagen? Dude, the perfect city. I love that camp Hagen. It's a dice. I've never played D&D. &D. I just have... I. I don't have the imagination for it, I don't think. Like, I'm not creative enough. Like, if I could play a D&D &D video game, it'd be fine. Like, actual tabletop d and I'm just too stupid for. But, am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Yeah, fuck yeah, why not? Fuck yeah, I am. Hell yeah. Made that decision without even... Eventually, I'll need to get back oh. in the booth. Yeah, hang on. We've got a we've got a phone call. Gotta gotta go deal with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm answering the phone, motherfucker. Is it someone I know, or is it just another random NPC? KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, <laughs> Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I don't know what UC is, but CU is I know I'm University of Colorado Boulder. I my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? Mm. Just become Max Caulfield. Oh. D and D dice roll. All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? Mortal enemies. Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. Mortal enemy. What? Why? Um. Music festival. It happens over one weekend at Coachella. <laughs> First, you forget her ticket in the car and she misses her favorite band. Mm. Then you find her in the VIP section and she pretends she doesn't know you. That's cold. Yep. By night, you can't even sleep in the same tent together. From then on, you are music festival foes, ready to oh. throw down if ever your dance paths should cross again. Damn. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. A D20. Is that what those are called? The D20? I've, I've heard the term D20. I didn't know that's what the dice was called. I'm such a noob. Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. Motherfucker, I got a lot of other shit to deal with, alright? Oh, never mind, I don't. Everything is in the booth. I lied. Alright, well. well. So we'll get back in the booth. It is kind of annoying that there's a uh, loading screen every time, but whatever, it's fine. What's my other task? To read the ad, right? Let's hear from one of our sponsors. 
PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 mm -hmm. using their job portal. Super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Sweet, Gabe. Uh, oh, I can reply to Gabe. Thanks. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Oh, wait, can I... Shit. I reply to people. Hell yeah. Okay. Has that been there the whole time and I'm just... I'm just not... I just never... I'll just finish up whatever I want to do. Never noticed. That you can... Okay, no. It wasn't. Um... Listen. No, I don't want to actually listen. Alright, well... Hell yeah, bro. This is my kind of music, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Redneck music, brother. This is Trump music. This is Haven's number one. Yeesh. Looks like I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is... Banter. No one is I can listening. banter? I'm going to be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your... I'll get your ears it. ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here um use oh all okay. good hey Gabe oh my god oh my god am I caller number 12 dude this job you got me it's great turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Good job. I knew that would happen. <laughs> Avoid situations like these with PutToWorkColorado.com Elevate your job prospects today. Good job. Rough first day, huh? This seems copyrighted as well. This seems very co- oh. I love Pride. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. I love Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will face. not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, this here's so how you cute. draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. I love queer Hold artists. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. Fuck, it's hot. It's so damn hot to be. What's it called? I think of the talking. That's a mood. Does it not have AC? Nah, 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 nah. I agree. All right. All right. The heat's no excuse. Grunfield and Garfield Gar hey, and Co. Is that live. supposed to be like what can I do you Abercrombie for? or something? Hey, uh, well, I, 
think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh. Okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he... I guess the term you'd use is... He came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. Well, I don't know if a fake radio psychic is who you need to be talking to right now. No, you misunderstand. I don't want a reading. Anyway, he loves your show, listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him. And I love him. Aww. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. Oh yeah. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. No idea who that is. Brady played it for or what that is. Right <laughs> no idea. To talk to Zero him. clue. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Okay. Um. Do we need to read any ads? The uh, Rocky Mountain Gazette. Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. They're in your apartment. That they're in your apartment? Right behind you. Right now. Eating your snacks. <gasps> and as locals, these reporters see everything see everything they see that graffiti too and they cover it they see those potholes too and they'll cover it and that unsolicited dick pic you just <laughs> sent yeah they saw that too if you want world class fair <clears throat> journalism look no farther than your own backyard the Rocky Mountain Gazette dang I'm blowing up today Another Should one. Probably answer that call. <sighs> For sake. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Big moment. Dang. Big moment. Knees Are your weak. knees weak? Mom sweaty. Mom sweaty. Mom spaghetti. I feel like Mom's feel like spaghetti. Yes. Mom spaghetti. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah. So if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. All right. I love the little uh, little sunflower man. Look at him. Ooh, cabal on the field. <laughs> Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. Mm. I mean, the D20 predicts disaster. It's just a dice. Dinner is disappointing. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. Sorry to say. Yeah. I don't see it going great. Yeah. Not going great how? Mm. Talking about politics. Surprise, surprise. Politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, mm. but the mood is ruined. Yeah. Uh, they all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. Mm. <laughs> you still really like her? And she still really likes you. Yeah. I'm just... I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? I feel that. Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for that. But...
being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, it's so worth it. And family. Okay. Was well, it Gabe said? Families this. are basically just big it's fuck up factories. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Ugh. Oh, fun. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just I'll just, just swipe white swipe so yep. Yeah. Fucking snake? Hell yes. This is great. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see $17 one. Seventeen dollars a month. Alright. Start the conversation. Hmm. What kind of opener do I want to use? Fake. Um. Simple hi. Hi there. Yo. Um. Yes. Oh yes. Let's go. Oh, maybe. Maybe. God, this is... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Ah, uh, this is a mood. I've I've had many a conversation like this. God, this is. Oh uh, yeah. This this is. This is this is uh. I'm I I sympathize with Fiona. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, come visit Denver. It's great. Great place. Sure. Hell yeah. Come to the play. Hell yes. This is great. This is great. This is great content. I love this. Excellent. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? I'll always kick things off. Make a move. All right. What's the best approach? Um. Compliment their clothes. Always a compliment. Um. Too fancy. About, um, music. Oh. Ooh. Uh, ask them out. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Gabe. How you doing? What's going on? Yeah. 
place like just not have air conditioning is that, is that why we're so i love this man stuff sucks Time at foosball, to deliver I guess. Good music. oh ooh. best video nasty's album uh the uh underground one yeah all that what do you do? I love this. I love the, um... Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. My day. I'm a radio DJ. By night, I'm a game master. The dice, yeah, that's 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 me. You're super fun to talk to. You're also fun to talk to. I love this. Okay. Uh-huh. I can hang. Hell yes. Yes. God. This is just a mood. I, I, uh, Denver Pride, let's go. I've been to Denver Pride before. Twice, actually. It is overrated. It's fun. Um, wait. It's okay. Yeah. Give it to me straight. Or gay. Yeah, yeah, I, I called it! Listen, <laughs> this, this is the quintessential, like, this, this, this is the quintessential, like, lesbian dating. I, this is my daily life right here. This, this, right, what's happening right now. This, this is like, this is such a mood right now. I'll come to you. I, I'll fucking drive anywhere, right? Oh, oh, so many more. Let's go, dude. Disaster queer. I win my job at you. This, this, I could be here for hours, yo. This is, this is peak, peak gay. Okay. I'm not reading this out loud, by the way. I'm assuming everyone is reading it in their head. Um, what's, what's a snake? Okay. No argument for me. That's cool. Okay. You want to meet up? Question mark. Uh, totally get it. Understandable. Nice talking to you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um. Favorite kind of music? Fucking, I guess, indie rock. Hell yeah. 
All right. Um, totally get it. All right. Uh huh. Huh. From the storage room to the masses. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Four to three or four to zero. Man, that game it sounds like heart. Else. Are we doing a flashback, back, 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 back? Flashback. Oh. Oh. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all Remember you this. want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. There we go. Fuck. I was always terrible at this. I'm Whatever always... You do. Think about Jed in a diaper. No. Uh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga stuff. Stop it. Gabe, stop. A glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. <laughs> wow, Steph. Where'd you go, damn it? <laughs> I haven't developed object. Oh, damn. I haven't developed object. What happened, Gabe? Object I thought you were going to try this time. Yet. My hands were sweaty. Knees weak. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. Arms feel like spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't wanna jinx it. Dead foosball player. Oh no. Wait, we can go. <gasps> Lesbian fried flag. No wait. No wait. Go back. Go back. Oh, we didn't get to go in here in the, the main game. I, I hope none of this is copyrighted. Sweet. Because if it is, I'm going to have to fucking re-edit things. I'm not going to be happy about it. Rare and valuable. Locked. Great. That guy's request Ghost star is I well, ice cream. Those drawings were meant to be a hint. Ghost Guess I should look around the store. Star ice cream. Star. Tambourine. So we got a lesbian fried flag. Let's go. Is this the good one or is this the like transphobic one? I can't remember. I know one of the lesbian pride flags is kind of transphobic. Let's go, dude. I don't remember what the guy said for the. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. They sure are. Could be useful. Ah, they got the 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 whole the whole the whole new pride flag. The uh, the one with the um, uh, with the Black Lives Matter and the trans flag and uh, everything in there. Very happy about Not that. Not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. Love is love. I love this. This is so good, yo. Look at all this gay. Look how gay this is. I love this. I'm so pleased with Man, this. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. I, I have. I, I do not recognize any. Any of these. I have not recognized a single fucking piece of music from this entire game so far. Those look like ghosts. I don't, to me. I don't know what that is. Grabbing this for reference. I don't know what that is. Oh, Charlotte. Uh, happy Pride. Got it. Yeah, I don't remember if this is the bad lesbian pride flag or the good one. Cause there are there are multiple lesbian pride flags, and one of them is like super transphobic, and one of them isn't. Um, oh, a memory. The great and noble Elamon. Oh, I remember Elamon. He's lost multiple limbs, died, and come back to life. Who knows how many times? I remember Elamon. But through it all. Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, Indeed. what? Mikey. I mean, that's nice stuff, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. 
Oh, carry on. I love this. Damn, this is, this is so good. So you see, traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. Hell yes. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. <laughs> Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. I, I have not heard of any of this shit. Oh, dude. Hmm. Oh, good old Ethan. Remember Ethan? No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Uh, necromancer. Let's give these kids something worth running from. Fade to black. Necromancer. Nailed it. Hell yeah. The leader. Alright, um. Unlock the valuables cage. Into your original song. Okay. Sick GTO. The Gators. Who the fuck are the Gators? I don't even know what that is. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. I'd love to. Thank you. One of my objectives. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I agree. Hmm. Guess it needs a hook. But what kind? Uh, poppy. Maybe like a really poppy hook. Something that makes you want to dance. All right. Oh, the rock music came back. Clue. It, past Dave. Dear future Dave, we had to change the lock combo. For the past Dave, wouldn't store sloshed Irish cream all over Rare Records. Here's a hint. Ghost star ice cream. Ghost star ice cream? Ghost star ice cream. I don't know. I don't have any idea. Ghost star ice cream. Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Ghost star ice. Oh. Oh. It's actually a code. Um. That's not even close to enough stickers. Ghost star ice cream. I bet you've seen your fair share of that. Oh, good. I was afraid we were gonna- Oh, man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shake- Ooh. Maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. Yes, maybe- That must have been some party. Ghost Oh, wow. Star. Cradle snack. I think my dad had the record. Kasha ran this place for a long time. Ghost star. Oh, Mice? Okay, mystery wall cat. Time to earn your keep. Um. So let's go back. Let's go back in. We're going back in. Oh, I have the ghost and the star. Wait a minute. I just realized they're in my like inventory. Um, oh, I can't look at them. Records. I, I, I don't know. I don't know any of this shit. Are these real music? 
Is this, is this real music? Are these like real tracks that like exist? I guess they are since they, they went silent for the, the copyright. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. Okay. So sorry. Oof. I've been there. I feel you. Thank you. But I am at the end of my rope here. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is ever. Oh, I hate those people. And the little smell. <laughs> Ugh. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything. Mm. But it's just like strawberry B.O. Mm. Uh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. All right. A five's pretty. I haven't bad. gotten any good oh, numbers. Not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So, can a house meeting really turn it around? The D20 didn't have high hopes. Why am I getting such bad RNG, yo? The roommate vanishes. I have seen into the blurry future. And? I see that you dread a long and conflict-laden year ahead of you with your new roommate. You need not. Oh, thank God. Because after your meeting, he moves out on you. What? No notice. You wake up one day, and he's just gone. All his vape stuff, his towers of dirty dishes, just gone. All that's left is a single note, written on the back of a takeout <laughs> menu. It says, it's been real. Damn. At least he knows how to make an exit. Well, thanks for the heads up. Good luck, bro. Great. Great. Um, so, um, I guess. Sound effects. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. So, I have to fucking read all ads. And I have to complete the record store tasks, which is to open the bullshit. Let's read another ad. Black Lantern. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. Mm -hmm. It's been a brutally hot summer. So visit the Lantern and escape the heat with... Air conditioning. Air conditioning. And if you sit in the right spot... You can even hear Jed grumble to himself about the electric bill. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... Bar crawl. <laughs> pool tournament. The upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will... All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. <laughs> Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Okay. And now, a message from our sponsors. Too straight. The quality folks at Avalanche Ice Cream know just how much Haven Springs loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has... 50 flavors. More than 50 flavors. Just thinking about that many is giving me brain freeze. That's Avalanche Ice Cream. Best treats this side of the Rockies. Oh, on. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, I heard you talking about Pride the other day, and you sort of convinced me to go next week. Oh, yeah. That's rad. You always remember your first Pride. I'm really excited. 
I've been like out for a while, but I've never actually had a boyfriend. I figured if I'm ever gonna meet one, Pride would be the place. You're going to Pride to find a boyfriend? Yeah. Does it work out? Hmm. Give me just a sec. Come on, RNG, come on. Give me a good one. 14. Not bad. All right. Going to his first Pride looking for love. How do I help this kid manage his expectations? He did have a decent role. Um. Meet someone great. Ready to hear your future? <laughs> As I'll ever be. Your first Pride is truly a thing to behold. There's music, celebration, <laughs> literal gay frolicking. Yes. It's enough to sweep you up and spin you around. And that's when you bump into him. A total hottie. It's like he stepped off the pages of a magazine. Yes. Heads turn, glasses are lowered, <laughs> and mouths fall open. But he's only got eyes for you. Oh my god. <laughs> he shows you around the festival, taking you to booths, introducing you to his friends, and showing you what Pride is really all about. Finding your people. Oh man, I'm hyped. This is going to be awesome. Have fun and stay safe. Thanks for calling in. This is great. This is great. This is nice. Okay, so we found the ghosts. We found the star. We gotta find more records for the um. Where where was it? Ghost star. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. Um, cat treats. Oh. Labels. Ride pins. <gasps> Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these. But not so many takers. Look at them. I would take all these. Look at them. Look at look at all these pride pins. Pride was a riot. Hell yes. I want I want all of them. Can I have all of them? God, I'm a gay disaster, yo. Okay. Gay Pride Fest 1980. Let's go. I hate that I actually find this funny. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. I'm so musically, you know, uninteresting. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. Okay. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. We, we already looked at this. I need to find now, if ice cream. Now, ice cream cone, I'm taking this to look at later. Right? And then we need the... I spy with my little eye. Borrowing this for a minute. Got That's it. all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. Do I play them? In order? Is that what I do? Yeah. Darn it. Me too. What was the what was the, the hint? I can't remember the order. Records. But but I wanna play the other records. But but I but I don't I don't know how to play the records that I got. I don't I don't know what to do. So I got see I got the records. Do they have numbers on them? I'm, I'm That's all four records. Watch your back. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Alright. A puzzle. Rare and valuable. Better get code cracking. Alright. Records. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very... Ghost Star Eyes Ice Cream. Now, if that's not an ice cream... Hmm, those Ghost. I spy with Ghost. my little eye. Five, um, eyes. Oh, two ghosts. Five. Four. Three. 
three ice cream. So it's two ghosts. Now if that hmm. two ghosts, four Both stars. Shades are undeniably star two, four, five, three. Let's pop this bad boy open. Two, four, five, three. That's my guess. Oh god. Two. Two. Four. Five. Three. Let's go! I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Hell yeah. Oh, awesome. Here it is. What the record that this we've been kid has oh. good taste. I just want to finally get back in the booth and play this record if anyone still cares. I I just want like I just want one record or album cover or song that I recognize in some way shape or form. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. hello, Lyman. Hi. Uh oh. Hi. I'm going to just go silent cuz this is copyright. Pack up the pride decorations. The pride never stops. The pride can never be over. There is always pride. Pride never ends. Pride is never ending. There's always. I guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold. Sure, we'll pack up the pride decoration. Man. Oh, the, I just noticed the little sunflower this has a guitar. This place looks great. Pride. I like this. This is wholesome. Nobody took the pins, unfortunately. But Whatever. I'll take all the pins, Steph. I'll take all the gay pride pins. Every single one of them. All good things must come to an end. Which Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. Love this. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So happy so pleased. I love these so much our lettering was on point love is love isn't it weird the event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon <laughs> it sure does and spending way too much money <laughs> and meeting cool people and recharging my entire soul sensational word all right Signs are dry. Let's go. Man, I hate homophobia. It's rough. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate. To show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. 
just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. <laughs> Same. I, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy. Are there any proud decorations back here? I... Man, this game getting me in my heart feels place. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Alright. Pins. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Chloe? Wait, Chloe made some of these? Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for <laughs> one month out of the year. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo <laughs> into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. <laughs> Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Guess that's everything. But the flag on the front door. Chloe Price. Everyone loves Chloe Price. The there are, are so wrong. many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride? My pride. Bi pride. pride. Lesbian pride. Hand pride. Bear pride. Lesbian pride. Uh, bear pride? There, There is I a think. bear pride flag. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. No, my controller! We're good. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just <laughs> like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? So gay. Transition. 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 Oh. October. Hell yes. Is it Mukul Myers? Steph? You know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Are we getting PTSD from Arcadia Bay or something? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the <laughs> record store <laughs> Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first... Mikey. Hey. But first... Why did track. you do that? What was that all about, huh? Why did you do that? Okay, work mode, go. Oh. Yes, it hurt. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no, I'm so gay. I'm so gay. Ah, oh, that's a Boulder person. That's a Boulder, Colorado person. I lived in Boulder for two years. That's a Boulder, Colorado individual. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, app. Yeah, I agree. Mikey. Why are we not texting Mikey? 
Um, hey, text Mikey, man. Come on. Come on, brother. <sighs> I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. I should put on a happy face and play nice. But God, I don't know if I have the energy. Be real. Oh, it's the, it, it's the anniversary of Arcadia Bay, because it's October, oh, oh, oh. about your passion. Alright. Clinical psychologist? God, me. That's me. Yeah. God, Rita, I agree. That's me. Music. Oh. F. <laughs> F. F. F is getting awkward. F is getting awkward. F is getting awkward. Yeah. F. That's. That's. Steph. Ooh. F. That's. That's so awkward. I'm. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Yeah, I think we'll get to that later. I like that he hand wrote in a one with all the exclamation points. No idea what that is. 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 I've, I've never heard of any of this. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem correct. This is this the the sad music day. Oh my God, Carnival, Colorado! I, I am. Man, it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Haven't been on top of my game lately. I guess. Psh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. No, I was kind of pulling for Steph too. So. Read all ads, answer two calls, complete record store tests, listen to your original song, tally foosball score. Okay, let's do let's do the those first. We'll do those first. So Steph is upsetty spaghetti because she's remembering the the um. I stuck the chore list on my lap. Oh. Oh, I remember Fiona. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pop. Let's see what still needs doing. Let's let's do oh, this. Yeah. I should add a tally for yesterday's and then match. Then we'll, we'll we'll do the we'll do the 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 dating that thing. game took a lot out of me. But then they all do. <gasps> Replay, play, play. Dude, I love the foosball mini game. It's a great time. I think Watch Steph's been and learn, crying? Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Fuck. Fuck. I'm so. Hey, 
you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Damn. No. Fuck. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. <laughs> oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. I got this. Fuck. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. <laughs> hey, Gabe. What? Where did you get that Could scratch on your hand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> After Shut all up. his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? <laughs> you know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> rung by rung, sucker. I left her on red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Why do you have to make it complicated? Okay, we'll start. Respond. Been really depressed. Ah, uh, no. I want to be with you forever. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is. I see this, I see this. Um, future. You gotta look to the future. Ghost of Christmas future is cool. Look at that, look at that winking emoji. Love that. Love the old winking emoji. This is, this is good. Okay. Okay. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Okay. Make the Man, first move. What do I even say? God. Ask about her music. Okay. Sounds cool. Hell yeah. Okay. Poor Collins. Ask you something? Alright. Yep. Yep, clock. Yep, clock. Hell yeah. How'd you like this show? Was it good? Did you like me, Steph Gingrich, Finger Guns? Oh. Easy. Yeah. Now why, why do we hate Izzy? DJing a radio station. Okay. Sounds cool. Hell yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. This is going well. Um, ask her out. 
Because that's gone so well. Why does it... Why? Okay. Okay. God, this is also a mood. Um, sounds appealing. Hell yeah. Gotta be positive. Boom. I love those. Those things. Okay. Excellent. Uh huh. My job. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay, ask her out. <laughs> uh, am I really that bad? Yeah. Yeah. The bar? In Colorado. Oh, no, not Colorado Springs. Colorado. You got it. You got it eventually. You got Colorado Springs. You got it. On my way. Be there in a minute. No, nah, probably not. <laughs> Dang. You usually drink its life. Sometimes. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That's a mood, man. That's a mood. I I I don't have any new. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate, man. Alright. Read chores on laptop. Ethan's drawing. Original song. Alright, alright. Alright. Where's the original song? It's been a while since I've worked on my song. I'm gonna burn the blue. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have. Oh, hey, it's like Hot Dog it, Man. Though, so far. I love Hot Dog Man. Love that guy. Uh huh. Hey, it's a Chloe Pry t shirt. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Hmm. Triumphant. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown. All right. Wait. Okay. Far fewer boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee. Assuming four CDs. None of the charm of vinyl nor the convenience of streaming. But hey, at least you're shiny. All right, Nat. So we need to find the... Yeah, there it is. Let's see what I have left. Shelf comics. Oh, good. Clean up trash. All of it. Sell new albums. All right. Just a few chores left. And I have a phone call. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Okay. Let's answer the phone. Ring... Ring. Ring.
there. Okay. Work mode. Up. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to, like, level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling in the radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. That was and insightful. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Read an advertisement. The Black Lamb. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour. Happy hour, right? Yes, happy hour where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only for an hour. What a deal. Oh yeah. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Live music. Live music on Monday evenings. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Oh, another phone call. You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I need your help. <laughs> I'm in trouble with HR. Ah, uh, yes, HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah. yeah. You think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. I mean... Yeah... Yeah. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. Uh, a conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I mean... Yeah. I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic <laughs> waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. I feel like you with all HR the stuff the that's going on with Activision, this is leg day too, not uh, being that kind of guy. too real. But your HR rep isn't having any of it. Yeah. No. Really? 
You're read the riot act about appropriate workplace interactions. Mm -hmm. Notes get scribbled in your file. Mm -hmm. In the end, you're let off with an official warning. Mm. That's so unfair. It was a stupid mistake. Does that make me some creep all of a sudden? No, but you're an asshole. And eh, relax. Okay. Just relax. sweat a little bit. No know? one is calling you a creep. But you don't have to be a creep to have done a creepy thing. Rude. And if you weren't a creep, you'd care that what you said had the effect of creeping someone out. Right? I guess. So prove it. Take your punishment, learn your lesson, and move on. Mm -hmm. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Alright. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay. By the way, fuck Activision. Pieces of shit. So, I've got... Reshell the comics. Clean up the trash. Stock and release. Find any CD. And where's Ethan's drawing? Here's the new releases. As long as bands keep putting out actual records, I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. Where is the... Where is Ethan's drawing? Oh. Found it. CD are we searching for? Is it, is it, is it another CD that I never heard of in my entire life oh yep yep it's arcadia bay it's arcadia bay flashbacks 100 percent. was she even there during the arcadia bay thing though chef betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this bolton board because she wasn't in, um, she wasn't in the original Life is Strange, so I feel like she left before, before the storm, or after before the storm, and before the first game, right? Because if she was, I don't know, I'm very confused. Oh no, it's 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 Jason. There's that trauma kicking in. That's a mood. Come on, Gingrich. Oh, phone call. I'd love to add to the drawing, but I don't fucking know where it is. Cause they move everything around every every episode. Friggin' everything gets moved. Right. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've, um, this is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. I'm hanging up. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Great. Uh, thanks. Well... I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. The worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. Yeah. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. All right. Come on, dice roll. Roll a 20. Oof. Ooh. Not great. Hive, bring a sword. These are the worst. Especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? That was a pretty bad roll. You, you just, you just, you stop caring. All right, ready to hear your. You future? just stop caring. Yeah. What is it? Good news. It gets a lot better because of you. Her hateful crap starts to sound like white noise, and everything changes. I, I've tried that. 
She always finds a way to get to me. I don't... How do I not care? You learn your worth. You figure out what you think of yourself, and you realize she's wrong. Her jabs stop hurting because you know in your heart of hearts that they're BS. Easier said than done. I never said it was easy, but it is worth it. I just don't believe it's really going to happen. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. Hell yes. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. You're welcome for calling. Excellent. Let's uh, let's read another ad for Grimley's. I don't even know what that is. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto... Repairs. Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs, Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... Oh, the love of it. The love of the game. game <laughs> the love the of the game. game. The community game. <laughs> the name a game, they love it. And that's why they're in this business. So if you or someone you love is a car, you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. That's great. I just love how much personality Steph has. She's great. Okay, so I need to find Ethan's drawing. I don't know where it is at all in any way. Is it back here maybe, you think? Oh. Sweet. Got the new album. Oh. We've, uh, I see we've, um, we've picked up in here. We've made it much better. And there's, uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff. The piano? Nice. Nice. Look at this. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Who are we campaigning with? There's Ethan's drawing. Oh, flamethrowers, okay. What do we draw on this now? But wait, there's more. There's more. It's the. Uh, it's all a painting. I think I'll throw Ethan a little curveball. Oh, I get it. I draw stuff, then Ethan draws stuff. Got it. Let's see what Ethan does. Is that Bob Ross? Is that a Bob Ross reference? Is that a Bob Ross? Yeah. yeah, Bob Ross reference. That's great. That's good. They clean up trash. Stock new releases. Okay. Need the trash. Gabe's bike. Popping the wheelies. Got it. Okay. Damn cat. Mom? The whole town is rubble! It'll hit our house soon. I'm taking shelter, but I love you, okay? Mom! Mom! Oh. 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 I am so not having this right now. Oh. Last chore. Oh. Just get it done. Oh, cool. Unisex restroom. Let's go. We need more of those. In fact, we need all of those. Character sheet, huh? Of course Fiona wanted to be a bard. Of course she did. I love this. Look at this. I think I, think I have one of those, actually. I know I have a, a Pride um, Colorado, like, not a flag, but it's like a wooden thing. 
professional at work. So, Steph's mother died in the the thing because I saved Chloe. Right. Ah. Ah. Bay before bay, I stand by my decision. I, I absolutely stand by my decision. Save Chloe every time. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe! Just a few more ads, and I'm officially out of here. Why did she just say Gabe? What did Gabe do? What happened with Gabe? Oh, are we going to meet with Gabe? I gotta, I gotta read another ad, and then... I think that's everything. Read the ad, then close the booth. Got it. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Open on Halloween. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So, if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Hell yeah. In costume. Who wears a costume? So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of Black Forest cherry. Ooh. Anyway, check it out. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. I do? I thought I got them all. I thought I got all the chores in the store. I guess not. Gabe's a great, Close up great booze, friend. Right. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Got it. Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Answer the call from Mikey, brother. Come on, answer the call. Don't be a dick to Mikey. Uh. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. D&D. &D. Oh, yeah, D&D. &D. Sweet. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's... Uh, well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. Hmm. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Okay. I... I... I need to check my notes. I don't even know. Hey, take your time. I don't even know how to D... I don't even know how to D&D, &D, let alone fucking... We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! Chloe. <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? The nerd dice. <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4. <laughs> sure the nerd dice. I'm going to bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Yes. I love this. Everything. Okay. Dude, the useless box? Just some it's, it's like that box that you throw down in, in uh, Battlefield for the ammo. Is there a useless difference? box. I know oh, 
it's one of those. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. Well, now Rachel's and dead. Now? so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Even the people I didn't like, I didn't have to be so, I don't know, judgmental, I guess. Just because they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? I mean, Chloe is still fine. I didn't do anything right. You ever... Talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. Max Caulfield. Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on. Let's keep playing. Alright. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Yeah. I I hope Fuck. none of this music. Water seeping in. Roll for perception. This storm is is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Uh, Anything from your mom? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't though? Your position. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. The useless box. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? Hmm. Our deaths? Oh. You know, about Drew at the end. Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt, if he had any last thoughts. I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've All watched right. my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Hell yeah. Oh. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? <laughs> Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah. That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. 
Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. Oh. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? <sighs> Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Hmm. Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. Hmm. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. Spooky! Cute. I'm glad they, uh... Glad they had a nice little, little chat. Oh my god. Okay, God. we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either Look at Epic Sword or Santa. sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say, though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Ring. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Oh. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions, and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Alex? Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? Alex Chen. There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. Alex Chen? I've been thinking of reaching out to her. Alex Chen? The thing is, it's been seven years. And all that time, I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. 
Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. don't ruin it. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Roll the dice. Ooh! Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. You give her a call. She's surprised but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first, it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life, and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You stop really listening to her. You're too busy blaming yourself for every little thing she talks about. <sighs> yeah. But then, you remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here, and one day you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, mm -hmm. <laughs> laughing at something mm -hmm. you did. Well. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Thanks, Gabe. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. I'll be... Oh. Longmont, alright. Yeah, that's... Denver, alright, yeah. Oh my... Cosplay is not consent. Oh. Oh yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, why do I have to be... Uh. <laughs> That's as good a sign as any. Why am I so... Time to say goodbye to this app. Are we, are we deleting the, the dating app? We got, we got, we got all this. We got all this. Oh. Adorable. Mikey, let's go. Oh, fucking Ethan. Ah, uh, good old Ethan. How do we delete the app? Yeah. Are there any records that I recognize? No. That? I know that song. This one. I know this one. It's not going to play because it's copyrighted, but that is the... That is the only song that I've ever heard of. Um, what did you do? Right. Sweet. 
complete. One song, lads. The whole damn game. And I've recognized a single piece of music. Could fit under the oh. Um. Um. How are you? Um. New Year's. Get my cat to love me. Okay. So many. Uh huh. You can do it. Yeah. Hell yeah, you are. Do I do I mention any of these people? I don't think so. Um, can I text any of these people? Front door. So. Maybe concert tickets. Oh my God, this is the uh, the outfit that she wears. In the uh, nice. What are my objectives? Tally foosball score, listen to song. So I gotta add to, um, to, uh, oh. Damn, Mikey. Oh, ooh. How are you? Getting better. I accept. Yeah, remember this. Good for you. Why, why would you be a bitch to her? Be a total asshole. Uh, nobody's special. It's a lie. You too, Rita. Thanks, man. Come His on. name is Quixby. Oh. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turn. -all. Remember, remember, uh... Damn. Fiona and I never got to finish our campaign. The executioner priest begins chanting. <laughs> blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, almighty our Lord Quixby. Hmm. Fire! Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah! Wait, Owl Lord? RNG. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Red flag. Drawing. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a ten-year-old to start your year. Oh, they're right. attacking Bob Ross. No. Not Bob Ross. No. Poor Bob Ross. Okay, what were my objectives? Check front door. Tally foosball. Right, foosball and the song. Where did we move the foosball tally to? Did we move that over here? Is that over here now? Hmm, there was a door here the whole time. Didn't even know about it. I love Haven in the winter. Great. Oh. I guess I feel it still ended. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. Where? Your eyes. 
a nice little tree. Where? Um. Oh, there's the envelope. Anti ice salt. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. Okay. My friends are dorks. Alright. New Year 2019. Uh, just wait. Just wait for what's in store in 2020. Yeah. The last time any of us were happy. 2019. 2019 was a rough year for me though, so not even really. Where um where's the uh where where's the foosball and the 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 the, the song thing? Is it in here? I gotta find the foosball score, lads. It's very important. We have to uh, show our dominance at Bird Call Ad, is that for for Ryan? Ah uh, there it is. I found it. Gotta add the latest game. 80 to 72. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Replay, play, play. Flashback, back, back, back. Flashback. Look, back. your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach Aww. me. Aw. Lesson one. Fuck. You gotta get in your opponent's Jesus. Head. Be ruthless. Use Let's their go. insecurities against them. Fuck. Fuck. No. No. Hey, Gabe, how do you spell insecurities? I know how to spell. I-N-S-E-C-U-R-A. <gasps> Man, shut up. Okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? You... Boom! Let's go. Thanks for the lesson, Professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. <laughs> the student <laughs> has become the master. Master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot. <laughs> still lost though. Still, still down on the old scoreboard though. Still, still down there. How do we? Okay, now we have to listen to the final song. But where? Where is that? Is it on the laptop? Fifteen bucks a month is pretty steep. Sure is. Besides, I didn't need pro editing tools to get my song in good shape. Hello. My song here it is. I did a bunch of work on my song. All right. Well, that's cool. The poster in the back. Okay, enough of that. That's enough of that. Enough of that. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Hell yeah. Maybe I should share it with someone. Chloe Price. Where is a Mikey? Hey, Mikey, I made a song. The radio show and follow the clues. What are the clues? A fucking scavenger hunt. Oh, the first clue. A fucking scavenger hunt on the you want your friends to do their surprise scavenger hunt? This is your first My clue. Steph is witty, bold, and fun, but she's also a great listener. Listener. Don't look far. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Getting pretty mushy. One year ago, Even this brought us game. together. We were friends in a heartbeat. Um. 
drums. Yep. Typical Ryan. Ever since you Made started illuminating sure the future, the show's been a bright spot in people's lives. Oh, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. We got a phone call, lads. We got a phone call, lads. Jesus. Wop 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 wop. Wop 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 wop. Hey hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. I love Ducky. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Uh -huh. Sorry, you're what? Many years ago, <laughs> my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How many of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. <laughs> I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Alright, the D20. Four. <laughs> Sorry, Ducky. Four. Yay. Hey, man, so, leave off. Ducky's taunty. My, my fucking RNG has been so bad. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate a win. God. I love Happily, Ducky. Or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. So you don't win your Tonti. You're certain. They're really old. <laughs> you could kill them. <laughs> I give this prediction a bronze octagon. It's the highest level of radio psychic certainty known to man. I see. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in <laughs> friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Uh, great. Great. All right. All right. We're back to our scavenger hunt. Where were we? We were. We were. Um. Were, Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? We were over here. I don't remember what the clue was. It was something about light. Typical Ryan. Ever since you are illuminating. Making triple sure I get it. Maybe even shine. Light. Antlers. The 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 the, the sign thing. Oh, there it is. Huh. Shar. Took a giant leap of faith. And move to a strange town where you forged a badass creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record band that describes what you are. The record band describes what we uh, are. Indie. My sweet, precious children. No one will hurt you here. Inspirational. I. <laughs> what? Which board? Good effort, Ethan. Hmm. Switchboard. Wait, switchboard is in in here. I think. Question mark. That's the switchboard. Pretty sure. Eighty percent. Fifty percent. Okay, that clues in here. There it is. See Valkyrie. Or best friend. She's your real best friend. No point in trying to pretend. I tried to compete. I admit defeat. It's match me in hell. There you go. Well. Uh huh. Probably should read an ad. The Black Lantern. 
KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... Get some champagne. Grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Oh. Drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Haven Springs. Okay. Um. Final clue is probably over there in the. in the, the vent bed. Or wherever the cat is. Something that has to do with the cat. That's that's where the final clue is gonna be. Where the cat is. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Cat toy? Clue. There it is. Saw the scavenger hunt, the prize on the shelf in the back. Okay. Shelf in the back. Shelf. Shelf. Prize. Shelf. I don't I don't see a prize. Or a shelf for that matter. Woody, a manaquin. Shelf in the back of this room, or the shelf in the back of different room. This room could be in this. Room. This is the back. Shelf. No. Shelf. Hello. Hello. Shelf in the back. I love the shirt. I only found the last clue. Just have to find my prize. Sure do. I just don't know where it is. Salmon. <gasps> yes. Feed the cat salmon. I love salmon. Give me the best smoked salmon for my little terror. Okay. Misty looks a little creepy. But once you get to know her, she's actually armless. Uh mission accomplished. this box holy shit this is rad you wonderful bunch of absolute geeks what is this i'm just coming from your affirmative foosball oath okay cool gotta finish up the radio show can't drink on the job sweet i found it finally after all these years it's been so long. I got a plaque. Let's go. Sweet. Oh, we got a caller. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem. Soldier, I've got a major situation for My you. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. Mm, that's a tough one. <sighs> a 12 doesn't tell me much. Yeah, it's, you know, slightly above average. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Um. Pause 
Cosmos consulted. Yeah. I'm braced for it. You return the Whopper of a gift and come clean with Rama after all those years of misguided presence. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Yeah. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. <sighs> That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh. <laughs> Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learn something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. Yeah. We, okay, what are we supposed to do? Read the ads, got it. Where are the ads? Where are they? I've lost them. There they are. The grocery store. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spam's Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with favorite food sales on your favorite holiday foods treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane but this time without the excuse and as we ready those new year's resolutions spamps is your one-stop shop for get fit foods healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership happy new year from spamps and then the last ad Auto repair. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. <laughs> some of you, yes. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Yes. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... Get a reindeer. Crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen? They're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the. Oh, Mikey. Dude, that rule. It thinks me. And the champagne. The champagne? Where's the champagne? Hello? The champagne. But where is it? Is it in here or is it outside? It says I can answer the phone, but there's no one calling. Hello, caller. How can I help you this evening? Oh, hey. I guess yeah, there was someone. Uh, can I get a large calling? pizza with peppers and mushrooms, please? That's me. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no pizza here. That is a mood. Oh, no. Did you guys run out? This keeps happening to me. <laughs> this is a call-in psychic radio show. You're live on the radio, like, right now. Word. 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 Yeah. Anything I can fake predict for you? Oh. Huh. Okay. So, am I gonna get my pizza tonight? I will <laughs> formulate my prediction. Maybe. Holy shit. A two. Ooh, cabal on the field. A super low roll for a super high collar. What does it mean? Criminal pizza. You still there? For sure. I'm not going anywhere right now. I'm sorry to say that you will not get any pizza tonight. Really? Why? Why not? Because as of midnight tonight, <laughs> pizza is 
illegal. <gasps> what? <laughs> you know the it's like that, but with pizza. Anyone caught within six feet of a single slice is rounded up immediately. What do I do? Join the resistance. You join the pizza resistance. You fight back against the system. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah, no brother! How many of you the feds lock Let's up go. or follow? You are fighting for something bigger than yourself. Even if should you fall, pizza will live. Yes. As long as you keep your love of pizza close to your heart, you're gonna be okay. Thanks, pizza girl. You know I will. Good luck, my dude. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the champagne. Be nice if I knew where the champagne was. Champagne. Where is the champagne? Where is it? I must know. I All must. Right. Ah. I think it's about time to crack open. Champagne. Found it. It's from Jed. Fucking okay, Jed. Jed. What have you hooked me up with? Fucking Jed. Piece of shit. Close enough. Up. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. <laughs> Dumb cat. Oh yeah, that's a mood. Right out of the bottle. I'm guessing now he fast forward to spring and that's when Alex shows up for the main game yeah there he is there's Ryan let's go Valkyrie Here we are, LARPing. Wonder if Alex Chen's gonna show up. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Colorado Springs, huh? Val let me pet her the other day. And then, she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. This, this seems very copyrighted. That's, that's what this seems like to me. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. 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 I picked the unicorn one. No, no, that's incorrect. Well, that was cool. I like that. That was nice. We're gonna we're gonna speed up the credits a little bit. Um, I like that. It was nice and short and sweet, and uh, it it wasn't as good as the main game. 
spot. I don't think it was trying to be. I think it was just a nice little, um, a nice little add-on to um, the True Colors, which honestly, maybe my new favorite Life is Strange game. It, it's I replayed it the other day again, um, and replaying it with uh, the copyrighted music on us is, is very good. Um, I like that. It was it was nice and short. I like the gay pride things. I like the the trauma of dealing with like, you know, uh, Arcadia Bay and learning that like, you know, Brew dies and um, uh, Steph's uh, parents die and all that stuff. Um, I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, I'd, I'd say it was it was better than Life is Strange too, for sure. It, w it, w it wasn't as good as Life of Strange 1, or even really Before the Storm. It's kind of, you know, in the middle. This is like, tell me why levels of... Alright, pretty good. Um, I guess I'm going to let the rest of the credits play out and see if there's choices at the end. If there's not, then I'll, I'll interject at the end. But credits first. Never mind. Credits are over. Um, oh. Well, there's no choices. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of the game. I really enjoyed this. Um, Life is Strange True Colors may be my new favorite Life is Strange game. I really like Alex. I really relate to Alex. Um, I I really like the DLC. I I thought it was great. Um, just all around fantastic game. Graphics were fantastic. Sound design's great. Music is great. It, it was amazing. It was great. Loved it. Um, and I hope you all loved uh, watching it as much as I liked playing it. If you'd like to play it yourself, I'd recommend getting it. Absolutely. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.